Megyn Kelly. And joining me this morning, we have NBC's Jenna Bush Hager, Stephanie Gosk, and Jacob Soboroff. Hi, everybody. Great to have you here this morning. So we have a lot to get to, but we want to talk first just a bit about Hurricane Michael. This thing it feels like it came out of nowhere, right? Look at this thing. Oh. Look at this monster. This is a Cat 4 storm that could wind up being the strongest hurricane ever to hit the Florida panhandle. The surge, they say, has the potential to be catastrophic. Look at the waves already. Uh, this is in Panama City Beach. We're going to be watching this storm all day. Uh, the governor down there already saying the time for evacuations has passed. Um, and so you got to hunker down and pray, say a prayer for the emergency officials and for the folks down there who are in the line of the storm. Uh, but we're thinking about you and we're praying for you. Uh, and now we're going to go up the coast from Florida to Maine, where something far lovelier than a hurricane took place this weekend. And that brings us to our own Jenna Bush Ager, who has a new brother-in-law. Yes, I have a brother-in-law. Congratulations. So it was a big surprise. Nobody knew that your sister Barbara was getting married. Nobody knew, but I knew. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nobody knew, but, you know, my sister is very private. She holds her personal life to be sacred. She's the elusive twin. We're, we're different. <laughs> um, I'm an open book. But she, um, and she's worth turning 37 next month. She's waited a long time. Um, and she found her, her man. And people always would say, now, why isn't your sister married? And it sometimes bothered me because I'm like, can't you ask a more important question? It's 2018. Yes. She does a lot of really cool things. Yep. But... Now she is. My one friend who gets that question all the time, because she, she's in her 40s and, and not married, she, they'll say, why are you married? And she'll say, because there's something wrong with me. <laughs> exactly. right? it, that's, of course, implicit in the way people ask it. Well, you, know? you know what is so funny is we talked about that with Condoleezza Rice, and she said people still ask her why she's not married. Oh and Barbara and I just thought... So it, rude. She has, right. but yeah, also, she has accomplished so right. much. Because I and am that's Condi the only Rice. question they can come up with. <laughs> yeah. I do have an important question. I may or may not have been to parties with Barbara and Jenna over the years. Was this a good party? Mm -hmm. It was a sweet party. It was just our family. Um, they wanted to do it where my grandfather could be there. Mm -hmm. They found a classical guitarist off Facebook. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and it wasn't very loud. Can you say that, too? I mean, weddings have gotten... Out of yeah, control. Yeah. They have these huge affairs, and people spend tons and tons of money on them. It's really sweet and lovely to think of just having a small, intimate affair with no your kidding. very it close was, no If I could go back, appreciate that moment. I would have done it because there were yeah. there are twenty people. There was no wedding planner, so when we were about to walk out, I'm like, "Oh wait, I don't have a bouquet. Barbara doesn't have a bouquet." <laughs> <laughs> I'm racing to grab the bouquets. I love that. They, the men never wore their boutonnieres because nobody ever put them on them. It, but, it's like you. But it's charming you forget about the little things and you focus on the big things now i hear that love. you were you were looking for something for a toast or for yeah. remarks and you rejected shakespeare in favor of something far better yeah i read a letter that my grandfather wrote to my grandma uh -huh. on their 70th 70th wedding anniversary um, and he was sitting next to me he oh, made wow. it through the dinner which is remarkable and he teared. We all, it was a lot of, I mean, my eyes are still swollen. Aww, <laughs> yeah. Was it hard for your dad? It was it hard, hard to give your child away. But he had a really hard time at my wedding. Like, honestly, he got up to give the toast and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> He did the ugly cry. I didn't understand one word he said. <laughs> so his toast started off and he said, I'm trying to do better at Barbara's wedding because I want my girl to know how much I love her. I mean, Aww, I was like, well, did you not love her? <laughs> <laughs> This one's really important to me. But he had practice with me, and so he got through it, which Aww. is, he teared up, but it wasn't like a, you know, yeah. mess. I'm so happy to hear that your dad's getting better at public speaking. <laughs> 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 you know it's so tough. tough. I don't want us to get over those hurdles. Uh, <laughs> and his English so. has improved. <laughs> uh, his English uh, has improved. My new brother-in-law used misunderestimated in his toast. No, he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was a roast. And then Barbara got to say, well, I'm the decider. <laughs> um, okay, so I, speaking of family professions and family history, you're a teacher, right? Your mom was a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, third grade consent. That's the, the next topic. Little third graders are being taught the meaning of consent. And there is a school in which the, it's in L.A. Uh, where the teacher, her name is Liz Kleinrock, has hung a poster in the, ca in the classroom entitled All About Consent, and trying to teach kids as young as eight to nine the meaning of consent, and kids in this class have to get consent before they give one another a hug. 
And, you know, I'm wondering what your take is on this, because I feel like consent is a good thing to learn. Uh, but I, I have a nine, a seven, and a five-year-old, and I just think, you know, trying to drill it in, into a nine-year-old's head that he must seek consent before he hugs his little buddies, to me, I'm uncomfortable with it because it, it attaches something potentially negative to hugging, and mm. they'll have time for that when they get older and they learn about dicey relationships. I would start earlier. My, my <laughs> almost three-year-old son literally tackles people when he tries to give them yeah. hugs. <laughs> so if you start a little earlier, uh, they might have a little more discretion. I don't know. I mean, I think that I, one of the first things I taught him was if somebody's touching you in a way you don't like, yeah. say, don't touch my body. Totally, um, but that's about agency. Yeah. It's consent as well, though. It's a form of consent. I mean, we talk about consent in terms of the Me Too movement, and immediately everyone thinks yeah. sexual consent, and that's right. an important part of the conversation. But consent is a much broader term, and it would depend, I think, on the context and the way that the teacher was... But, well, I mean, I, my, you know, my life is surrounded by eight- and nine-year-olds. It really is. And these kids, they're, they're not running around just randomly assaulting one another. Well, I think <laughs> If they have a sweet moment, if they see a kid cry, they'll give them a hug. But now, like, your little buddy's crying because he got hurt on the basketball court, and you've got to go over and say... Is it okay if I place my arms around you and give you an embrace? I mean, it's to me, that's I I'm taking it a little answer. too yeah, far. I see that it can be taken too far, but I have to do the same thing with Mila. My daughter picks up every child, strange. <laughs> and body <laughs> slams, right? Yeah. Yeah. And just like, exactly. she's maternal. <laughs> and, I, and recently she picked up a little girl that was like, no, no. And I had to really talk to Mila because I think, and this is, in my opinion, the fact that we're even having this conversation is some of the light that could come out of this darkness. I have friends that have talked to their teenage sons about things that I promise you 20 years ago were not said. See, I'm, I'm all in favor of that. I think yeah. teenage years, you're, you're, but, you're but all even, in. That's exactly when hormones start to explode and people right. are exploring sexu sexuality. For me, eight years old is too, too young, young for this. I don't like the negative connotation to normal human affection that the child feels no shame about. And I do think it's, I think that the message to your own child of, there's good touch and there's bad touch. Right. And if you're uncomfortable, you speak up and you say no. And it's okay to tell secrets if somebody's giving a bad touch because yeah. that but can take them to a different I, place I, that you do need to know about. Yeah, I mean, I also think, though, that there are kids that like to hug. Yeah. And there are kids that don't like to be hugged. Yes. And I certainly think that... that Knowing that if a child says, I don't want to be hugged, even if it is on the basketball court and is meant as a loving gesture, yeah. then, then you say, okay, I understand that. And and you this isn't, but to... this isn't that. This isn't when the person expresses, I don't consent, you have to listen. This is before you even show any affection, you must gain consent. And I, 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 like we've talked about this last week on the anniversary of the Me Too movement really launching. And that is, do, how far can you take the whole Me Too consent you know, thing? Because... I feel like everyone at this table is young enough that when we sort of got together with our significant others, there was not a worry about as each progressive move came your way, verbally, you know, do you consent th to this and how about this and how about this one and this one? I mean, like, I, you know, it was like, just go for it. You know, like, there's something implicit. I'm just saying. That just took me somewhere I didn't know I, I was going. I just say, like, it's always where? a surprise in the 9 o'clock hour. <laughs> Where do you draw the line between, you know, sort of a, an implied consent, which is like, I'm enjoying what you're doing. We don't have to sign a contract for every progressive base and making sure both parties are willing well, to participate. I, I would hope that that's what this teacher is talking about, yeah. actually, with these kids. And I would like to actually hear from the teacher because it's one thing to talk about on the outside. It's one thing to be on the inside of that classroom and see how the kids actually take it and see how this teacher is actually teaching this lesson. Um, I, I suspect it's not quite as scary as it might sound from the outside. And I do think it is a conversation we have to have because, I mean, obviously, look where, look where, we, where are. we are. We yeah. have, to, and that's pro what this is. You know, by, by the time they get to college, to. there is going to be a, a, a full contract that needs to be cited, like see codicil five, <laughs> footnote forty-seven, and then you can proceed with a French kiss. Okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk about Halloween, right? Where I, I can't know, wait. Two weeks away, three weeks away. Do now, you right? trick or treat? Uh, well, I go out with my kids, yes. and I love it. Do you I really dress look up? Forward. Yes, 100%. What but, are you this year? Well, I haven't figured that out. I'm one of those late Johnny Come Latelys who runs to Party City late, and, like, nothing's left. And I'm like, you don't want to be a flower? Um, they're like, Megan Kelly's here again. Okay. <laughs> I have my own costumes like that I don't throw away, so I can just throw one of those right. out oh, for me. Nice. But my kids, I mean, Thatcher this year has chosen something that is one small character from one episode of Scooby Doo. Like oh my gosh. how on earth I like which means I'm actually gonna have to it's make it. Work, yep. which that's is like, when you that's oh when you act like nightmare. a lawyer and sort of pivot. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Like oh, to Scooby. Everyone's being the red ghost, which isn't really even a thing. I don't even know who that is. Um, okay, but in get this, in Virginia, Chesapeake, Virginia, and not just Chesa Chesapeake, apparently in Newport News and Hampton, Virginia as well. Uh, but Chesa Chesapeake, Virginia has a new 
law, an ordinance. Kids over the age of 12 may not trick or treat. They may not trick or treat. Oh, that sounds great. They're crazy in my neighborhood. And and any any trick or treating past 8 p.m. Uh, is prohibited. Uh, and you can be jailed or fined oh, or on. both. You know what I say? You know what I say? Arrest them all. <laughs> <laughs> all ages. Put them in the sweater. You're not going to stick a tree down. Yeah. Are you going to be a police officer this month? Yeah. Stephanie's you know, starting the war on Halloween. I'm taught. Sixth graders, I taught sixth graders, and at the beginning of the year, they sat on my left. They're little kids. They shouldn't be allowed to trick or treat. No, it's too old. That's what they say in, in no. Chesapeake. No. I, I, I would never propose this law. That's also, isn't there a lot going on in this world? Do we really have to crack down on Apparently Halloween? we do. And not yeah. just that. As for those costumes I have sitting in my dresser, those are out too because they say also. No accompanying parent or guardian shall wear a mask of any type. What? No. So the parents... I'm dressing up as a jellyfish. There goes my costume. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it is kind of annoying when the older rebel rousers come through and like they, they trample your, your little yeah. kids. It's like, as long as they're respectful. And they take the candy, yeah, but exactly. it's a good lesson in like, let the little kids go first. And believe me, I'll be giving that to a lot of people yeah, on the streets of New York. Absolutely right. That's right. We won't be going down to G Virginia for Halloween. Come on up to New York. Anything goes. <laughs> that is true. You guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. Congrats to your family. Thank too. you so much. We'll be right back.